Hello, everyone. Welcome back to this session on effect of feedback on gain, sensitivity, stability, and noise. So in our series of sessions on control systems, today we will review what is the effect of feedback on these four very important parameters. As we know, this is the closed loop system. We have the reference R input signal and the error signal. Then we have the open loop gain G. This is a one functional element. And you have another functional element in terms of a feedback factor. C is the output. So C by R is always the transfer function, whether it is small c of t or r of t in time domain or c of s by r of s in the space domain. So in order to understand the control system properly, we need to understand what is the effect of feedback on gain, sensitivity, stability, and noise. In fact, gain, sensitivity, and stability play a very important role in understanding the functionality of the closed loop control system. So that's the reason why we understand today what exactly are these effects. Let's get into the subject. So there are two types of feedback, basically positive feedback and negative feedback. Positive feedback is the one which adds the reference input R of S and, and feedback output. So we have, this is a simple thing. R of S is the input and C of S is the output. Now H is the feedback that we are taking from C of S and giving back to this uh, summing point. So from this summing point, if there is a positive here, we call it as a positive feedback. If there is a negative symbol here, we call it as a negative feedback. Okay, so if we see it here in the general equation, uh, no, we, we are getting here the feedback path. So C by R is taken as G by one plus R minus GH. G open loop gain by feedback gain, feedback factor. Okay, so if it is a negative feedback that we are giving it here, then this will become C by R is equal to G by one plus GH. And if it is a positive feedback, it will be G by one minus GH here on the denominator. This will be the thing that we'll be concentrating on that. Okay, so that's exactly what we are seeing here. So now we have an input signal here and we are giving it to the error detector. It can be a summing point where the transfer function of a positive feedback control system is G by one minus GH. G is the gain of this functional element. H is the gain of this functional element, which is in the feedback pack, which is correcting the factor and giving it to the error detector where T is the transfer function of the overall gain of the positive feedback control system. And then G is the open loop gain, which is function of frequency. And H is the gain of feedback path, which is again the function of frequency. Both are the functions of frequency. Then if you see the negative feedback, the same thing, H is again the function of frequency. G is again the frequency of the input signal that we are giving. So T is the transfer function. In turn, in this case, when we call it as a negative feedback, though uh, this is accompanied by the negative symbol here, and T is equal to total transfer function of the system is equal to G by one plus GH, okay? And uh, this T is nothing but C of S by R of S. That's exactly what we understand from the negative feedback. Then if you see very briefly about the effect of feedback on overall gain, because it all depends on the denominator one plus GH. So the overall gain of negative feedback closed loop control system is the ratio of G over one of one plus GH, okay? So naturally the overall gain may increase or decrease depending on the one plus GH. So if one plus GH is less than one, then the overall gain increases, okay? So in this case, GH value is negative because the gain of the feedback path is negative, that's the one minus of minus GH. So if the value of one is greater than one, naturally the denominator will be one, more than one, then the overall gain decreases. In this case, GH value will be positive because the feedback path is positive. So in general, as we have seen, G and H are both are the function of frequency, okay? So the feedback will increase the overall gain of the system in one frequency range or decrease the frequency 
again in the other frequency range. That's what we need to uh, remember. Then coming to the sensitivity, sensitivity is nothing but change in output by change in input. But for a control system, the overall gain of a negative feedback control system is, we have seen one by one plus GH. Now sensitivity uh, is the reciprocal of one plus GH. Naturally, this is also the same thing. So the sensitivity may increase or decrease because it is the inversely proportional to one plus GH. So if the one plus GH is greater than one, is less than one, the sensitivity increases. If one plus GH is greater than one, naturally the sensitivity decreases. So if it is less than one, GH value is negative. If it is greater than one, GH value is positive. That's all. And then G and, G and H are functions of frequency. As we have seen, it, it may depend on one frequency range, it may increase and another frequency range, it may decrease. So we have to choose the values of GH in such a way that the system is insensitive or less sensitive to parameter variations in terms of G and H. That's what we uh, understand. So then effect of feedback on stability. So the system is said to be stable if its output is under control. I know it should not uh, become unstable and go on with a given frequency. So otherwise it is said to be unstable. So the transfer function of this, if you take one by one plus GH of a negative feedback control system, the denominator value is zero. When the denominator will be zero, when GH is minus one, then the output control system will be infinite. One by zero is infinite. So the control system becomes unstable. Therefore, we have to properly choose the feedback in order to make the control system stable. That's very important when we are choosing the control elements in G and H, because ultimately that's what to decide the, whether it is RLC, whether it is RC or RL or LC, these are the components when we are doing for overall gain and feedback. Then if you see the effect of feedback on noise, so we have open loop control system on one side, closed loop control system on the other side. So for the open loop control system, you have a noise added in here, and then R of S with the gain of A, we are giving it to the error detector. And from this, we are giving it to the G of B, gain of B, okay? We have two functional elements here. This is a gain of A functional element, and this is a gain of B functional element. So naturally C of S by R of S, if you see in, in terms of only this, so C of S by N of S is equal to GB. That will be the transfer function only for this. So naturally GB is equal to C of S into N of S. That is exactly what. So, sorry, uh, G of B is equal to C of S divided by N of S. That's exactly uh, what I. So in this case, if you see, similarly C of S is equal to G of B into N of S, G of B into N of S. This is what is the product here. And then that is equal to, C of S is equal to G of B into N of S divided by one plus G A G B into H. So this is the overall transfer function of the thing. So if you take in terms of C of S, the overall transfer function of C of S is equal to, if you consider only the noise factor, so G of B into N of S divided by one plus G of A into G of B into H. So in effect, we will have C of S by N of S that is equal to GB into GA into one plus GA into GB into H. So if you see in the closed loop control system, the gain due to noise signal is decreased by a factor of one plus GA, GB, GH, if you consider this and this, com cons compared to open loop control system, right? So provided that, the term one plus G A G B H is greater than one. So if it is greater than one, we are not, because it is not the way the, it has to be less effect, okay? On the noise of the system. So that's what we understand from, so here also you see C by C of S by N of S. So C of S is equal to G of B into N of S. Okay, so that is why, so if we have to have a, the effect of noise is, will be less only when we have one plus GA, GB, GH is greater than one. That has, because it is in the denominator. 
only then it will have a less effect on the feedback okay or the feedback will have a less effect on the noise that's exactly what we understand so that's all for it and let's see you in another session thank you very much